One thing I forgot to mention on my ABS siphon update, and I'll mention it now because I'm going to do this with my natural aquaponics because I've got a larger pump, is continuing this on over to my raft bed. Because I didn't have enough drop over here, I, I, that's why I recommended you do it different than I did. Give you a little bit more drop. And uh, I'm going to overflow some water from my pump to my raft bed. Uh, the reason I'm doing that and the reason I'm suggesting that you have that as an option is to fine tune your ABS siphons. That way, uh, if you have too much water going to your siphons, you can use that as a relief valve and release a little water into your raft bed to, to fine tune it down so where you don't have too much water. I don't think you're going to have a problem if you go with the two and a half inch siphons. And that's one good reason to go with a two and a half inch siphon. You can use a larger pump so that you can upgrade later without having to buy another pump. Then you can send some of the water to your raft bed and that gives you quite a bit of drop. Uh, I'm gonna use it to aerate, give more aeration to my raft bed because I didn't have as much drop. You can see I've just got about three inches. Now I can see I've got some little bitty air bubbles. I've got some dissolved oxygen going on. I can see the air bubbles all over. Uh, but I don't have as much on the far end down here. And if I'd had more, and so that's why I'm gonna two inches, two feet of drop. <laughs> And I'm going to send the pipe on down that way, and and that'll, you know, I'm 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 made some mistakes and I'm correcting them, and I'm uh, telling you about it so that you don't make the same mistakes, so that you can benefit from my mistakes, and and build a system uh, that is going to be uh, work for you just right out of the box, uh, having the benefit of you learning from my mistakes and me telling you about them, and uh, so that you don't make them. Uh, I recommend uh, six inches of drop. Now, I said you'd come with a one and a half inch pipe over the top of this, and so I recommend at least from the bottom of that pipe, at least six inches down to the water. At least uh, one foot, you know, if you've got the room to have one foot, that's that's preferable. Uh, if you don't have, you can you can still go build this system without my mistake right here and you had the one inch pipe one and a half inch pipe up here you can build it with four and a half feet i'm still saying four and a half feet from the bottom of your grow bed to the bottom of your fish tank minimum requirement for a natural aquaponics or stair step waterfall system and then same thing down here overflow into your fish tanks six inch minimum which brings me to why i told you to use the three inch tees Another one of my mistakes. I went all the way across here with a three inch pipe thinking it would be easier to get it level. Well, I got more water coming out on this end than I do on that end. And so I'm going to correct that. I'm going to tap into I've got more water going down off of this end of the last fish, fish tank. I can tap into it and send some to this fish tank and I've already sent some to the middle. So I'm evening things out. What you can do is just use the three inch T and then it's easier to level them up individually, level those tees up individually. And since both are going to the same fish tank, there's not a problem if it's not exactly level. But you want to get it level. But, you know, if it's a little bit off, it's not that much problem. You're still sending the same amount of water to each fish tank. You have to drop your bulkhead just a little bit. You can use a 90 degree elbow, which will keep your raft bed from jamming up and blocking your uh, flow out of your... Uh, bulkheads then you can use another 90 off to the side you know bend it over and come back up you can cut it off flush like i was showing in the other video with a two and a half inch siphon and that'll keep you from having to lower it as much uh by using the two 90s and cutting the top one off flush i'll keep you from having to lower it as much if you're concerned about your elevation differential not having enough elevation and then that way if you happen to be off a little bit hopefully not but if you happen to be off a little bit and your T on one side of the bed versus the other side of the bed and you've got more coming out of one side than you do the other and one fish tanks not getting enough oxygenation you can simply adjust it fine-tune it by twisting your elbows your 90 degree elbows 
back and forth till you have them equal till you have the same amount of water go into each fish tank so that's why i recommend doing that and that way you know you'll have the the aeration equalized between each fish tank and uh like i said you want six inches of drop between the bottom of your pipe coming out of your tee and the top of the water uh, of your fish tank you want minimum and minimum six inches between where your one and a half inch pipe is coming out here in the top of the water in your raft bed minimum six inches you can do that with minimum four and a half feet of drop doing it um, the way I have recommended uh, if you have more elevation differential between the bottom of your raft or media bed the bottom of your fish tank that's even better uh, like I said if you uh, if you don't have enough room for your sump between your sump tank and your biofilter that's fine uh, you know if they come out even I guarantee you if you put enough bulkheads in it your your uh, your biofilter is not going to back up on you you can you can just put so there the two places you cannot compromise you got it you want to have at least six inches from the bottom of the pipe down to the top of the water going into your raft bed at least six inches from the bottom going down into your fish tanks with your biofilter to your sump tanks you know you can you can you can line the side of it with bulkheads if you're challenged uh, elevationally challenged you can uh, you can line it with bulkheads you know and just just have a just minimal drop and and you'll be just fine um, I think I've covered everything in uh, all my videos I, th I think I've pretty much covered everything where you can you can set up a system then this is this system is designed you know for the average person you can build a system that will work said I want to eliminate my oxygen pumps I haven't yet because I don't have everything quite set up yet well, I wanted to go ahead and, and share this video and uh, this is this is a large system so this is not for a tiny system this is for larger systems one thing I didn't mention I had mentioned uh, you know one thing I would recommend I recommended basically a base system uh, that you wouldn't want to go any smaller than uh, for this setup. You you could, I guess, go with one fish tank. But uh, I was I, I'm I'm basically recommending leaning towards you know uh, more of a medium sized home or to medium sized to large I guess home setup um, that you could do. You could take instead of having the uh, bio filter, you could take and make that and the raft bed the the four other four foot raft bed two more media grow beds get you a 55 gallon drum for your bio filter and then build your own raft bed build you a four foot by eight foot raft bed with durascrim 20 millimeter durascrim that would be preferable i would uh lean it wouldn't cost that much more i would lean towards more towards having a system like that but the other one would be you know if you're just uh trying to scrape by and you're just barely able to uh you know put a system of this size together you know you can cut a few corners anyway thanks for listening